Hey, um, everyone, this is Professor McLaughlin. Um, what I'd like to do is provide you with a um, little tutorial uh, and have you start working on lesson one uh, with the Pearson content. Um, I wanted to see uh, what Pearson provided before I provide a separate podcast lecture. I will give a podcast lecture for each of the um, chapters that we cover. I really like uh, what Pearson has for you. Um, it's interactive. It's interesting. It, uh, quizzes, uh, it quizzes isn't the right word. It checks your comprehension and understanding through interactive activities. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think it's very uh, straightforward with these initial uh, chapters, a good introductory uh, way to get uh, into the course, um, very overview. Um, I like that. But what I would also like to do is um, you don't really need the PowerPoints, but, but rather than having me uh, lecture to the screen, I would like to lecture using PowerPoints. Um, I don't think you need them for the quizzes. I don't think you need them for um, the writing that you're going to be doing in this course. Um, but it just provides structure for a lecture. So I'm going to use them. I'm going to give you copies of them in your Blackboard. Uh, but I don't think that's, um, I just think that's going to be supplemental. The main thing um, is uh, the, what they call the presentation. And um, that's in the course uh, Blackboard. Okay, so I have captured here um, blackboard for you. It's not very colorful. I'd like to update the color. It's kind of boring, but um, uh, first things first. <laughs> so nothing's due until this Sunday. Many of you uh, don't even have your Pearson code yet. Um, uh, so that's okay. Uh, hopefully everybody will get it this week and I have uh, um, revised the assignments that Pearson preloaded um, and that will need to be done for every uh, chapter. Um, so uh, I've reduced the assignments. There is a quiz every week. Um, and what, what you don't have uh, is um, a really great syllabus. So right now you're just gonna be going, uh, each week is a lesson and I'll, I'll, let's get into it so I can uh, show you. So this is, um, I always start uh, courses on the announcement um, but I want you to move over to course documents, which is where you'll start. And there's a lot of stuff there. Hopefully you're already into um, Pearson. So you're going to scroll all the way down and here are all the lessons. Okay. And lessons all the way for each chapter to chapter 15. So only 15 chapters. That's not hard, but lots of writing within them. So we're going to click on lesson one. And this is everything you know, need to know about lesson one. So to, uh, to help you out, I will get um, kind of a, a, a less an assignment plan or a, a syllabus together for you that just describes what's due every week, but it's going to be the same thing every week. Every week you're going to have a posting in the discussion forum, and you're gonna have assignments here, okay? So let's start first at Lesson Home. And this is where you can access the interactive presentation. It tells you everything you're going to do. Um, the problem with this is I, I want you to look at Lesson Home because it'll tell you everything, but here I am amending these assignments. So what's actually due will differ, and I don't wanna go in and amend all these as well. So Lesson Home is a good overview, but not the definitive um, statement of what's due each week. And what I will do is prior to the week, um, get uh, onto an announcement in Blackboard, the definitive, um, description of what's due, all right? But Lesson Home's a good one, and, and you don't have to go back out. You can get 
to the interactive presentation here. I'm going to click on it. And it, it really is a nice system. I really, really like it. This is your interactive presentation. Can I scroll? No. Your overview. It's very slick. It's very interesting. It's super straightforward. Up here is your progress. Here's how you go forward and you can click on your objectives. That's always good for you to look on, look at. And these are all the topics in chapter one and what you're gonna be, it's really just an overview. It's awesome. And there are your topics again in more visual form. And then you go forward, your introduction. Welcome to the legal system. And you can see you're on page five of 49 pages. Um, you can be interactive in here. I really like it. It's not too oversimplified. Chapter one is very easy and straightforward. And for many of you who have had uh, Legal 201, Legal 202, and are just wrapping things up, with this course this semester, much of this you'll be familiar with. Um, what was always so great about the book were the exhibits, and, and you have the book as well, or the ebook, um, and those are included here in the course content as well, because no matter what you see online, all of it is modeled and structured after how the cases and laws are physically published. It's just the nature of law. So e even, even Westlaw um, and online research, um, having a familiar, familiarity with things like this, how legal publications, how they are formatted, what they look like, that's really, really important uh, for when you do online research as well. Okay, so that's the presentation. So let's go back to the lesson. Let's go back to Blackboard. We're at lesson one. We looked at this, the lesson home, and essentially you looked at the presentation as well, but you can get, you can skip lesson home and come to presentation here. And then discussion forum. So each week you'll have a discussion forum. And this tells you what you need to do. And it gives you the rules. Oh, let's see if I've linked it here. Yeah, so it links you to the first amazing discussion form question I put, which is what do you like and dislike about writing? Um, and, if, and if you only dislike it, you don't like anything about it, I'd like to hear that as well. Um, so you're going to click this and post it. Um, I'm going to reply to myself. I talk to myself a lot, so I'm used to that. Writing is difficult, but an excellent way to communicate. So don't forget, for those of you who have some preconceived notice uh, notion of writing, I mean, if you're communicating on the phone, if you're communicating via text, writing is just another form of communication. And what you're learning, um, I'm just going back to the lesson, what you're learning in, um, I have not found a great way to go back. I go back through course documents and go back down. There might be a better way. And please uh, uh, share all your learning about the better way to get back to this lesson one. What you're learning here uh, in this course um, uh, are two levels of writing. One is just basic writing. We're gonna do a lot of writing. I'm gonna pick on your grammar and your format. And then the second level is um, uh, the particular kind of writing that the law requires and that how lawyers like to see things written, 
how uh, expressing yourself in legal writing um, has its own style, has its own format, and I'll continue to use the word structure um, because it's it's very stylized. And what I mean by that is it has a particular style. And maybe one way to think about it is that lawyers are very limited or uh, don't understand the things when it's not in the style that they're used to. So one way to bypass a lot of confusion and um, maybe revising and editing is to just focus on the style first and to the best that you can get the writing uh, down. But the style is most important. What should a memo look like? What, when we write to the court, what should that look like? And that's why you have court rules on how documents should look. It's so that nobody has to think about what it is. I look at it, oh, it's a complaint. Oh, it's a motion. Oh, this is a pleading. Because it's super stylized. It's on pleading paper. It has the, um, the formats, uh, the headings. E everything is um, according to a particular rule and style and format and that can be very freeing for you um, once you learn that format and that's what you're doing in this class we're learning the format um, then you can get your writing down and you can express yourself uh, and that's the very freeing part okay so that's the discussion form and finally the assignments which is actually really important because that's what you're going to do so if you recall um, there was from the from the very first uh, page in lesson one that we looked at. Um, there was an assignment 1.2, but I felt like it was redundant. And also, um, I don't want to give you too much this first week because we'll be kind of, um, we're just getting to know this system. So check out each of your assignments. You're going to load it in here. In here, let's open it up. This is where you upload it. This is the icon for Blackboard for uploading it into Blackboard. This describes the assignment. Take a look at it. I don't want to freak you out now because everybody's going to be like, uh, but just do your best. It's due um, Sunday at midnight. All the assignments are going to be due the Sunday of the week that they are assigned at the end of the day, like right before Monday morning. That's when they're due, just to be clear. And then where's the quiz? There's a quiz. What happened to my quiz? Hold on. Assignments. Well, this was the other one. I had trouble. That's, I'm only in assignments. I had trouble getting back from assignments to lesson one. So you guys can teach me how to do that. Oh, there's a better shortcut. Maybe I can create a shortcut. So, oh, I know what. Sorry. Quiz one is here. It's not available yet. That's why. Let me make it available right now. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to torture you. I'll make it available. It'll be due by Sunday at midnight as well. Um, I haven't had a chance to edit it. I want to see how many questions it is. Um, for these first couple of quizzes, I may give you multiple attempts, so I can make that. I can make those changes um, uh, right now. All right, so let me uh, let you go. I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to post this on uh, over here. Please look over here. I'm going to post these um, Camtasia videos uh, here on podcast, and I'll also put a link to my um, YouTube channel, okay? So I'm going to sign off and let you guys go. I know I have a ton of emails from everybody. Um, and I will get to those as well. And let me figure out how to turn this off. Have a great week and we'll be uh, in touch.